Hey my beautiful shining stars! Today I'm going to show you how to get this feline fun look inspired by the Cheshire Cat in Disney's animated film Alice in Wonderland. Alright, so I already got my foundation on and I'm just going to move right into the shadows. Taking my Urban Decay electric palette and that vibrant purple color Urban and a brush, I'm going to pack it onto my eyelid. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then just sweep it down under my lower lash line. Whoa. Taking a small eyeshadow applicator and the magenta color in Jilted. Jilted. I'm going to place that shadow right in the inner corner of my eye. Then taking a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to mix Jilted with the hot pink color Savage and apply it right above the lid going into the crease and just fanning it out into a cat eye shape. Now taking my Moon Dust shadow in Intergalactic, which has to be one of my favorite shadows in the world, I'm going to place it over my lids for some extra sparkling shine. Then taking this awesome two-time eyeliner by NYX, I'm going to place it in the waterline and in the inner corner of my eyeballs. <laughs> Using the other side of the two-timer, which is a more fine tip point, perfect for making a cat-eyed shape. Going back to the magenta and hot pink shadows, I'm working them in past the inner corner of my eye and down the bridge of my nose and underneath the lower lash line to intensify the feline look. Time to curl them lashes for some lift. Oh, and my crazy purple contacts are from Pinky Paradise and these are in Super Pinky Violet. Then taking your favorite mascara, go ahead and start at the bottom of the lash line, wiggling your way upward. This is perfect prep for falsies. And I definitely need some falsies for this look. I'm using Glamorized Lashes in number 61 to add more of a dramatic flair. Using NYX's Glide On Liner in Purple Blaze, I'm going to fill in and define my brows so they can match my crazy purple hair. Then I'm going to go over and set them with the purple shadow that we used earlier. Jazam! Using my purple liner and my two-timer liner, I'm going to create a little cat nose over my own nose, outlining it in the black and filling it in with the purple. And setting it with the purple shadow. Disney's Cheshire Cat in the cartoon version of Alice in Wonderland was pink and purple. So I'm gonna take the pink color blush and start at the apples of my cheeks, moving my way upward to my hairline and continue on onto the temples and over my forehead for a cool pink contour. And of course, we have to add some cute little whiskers. And I'm just using the fine tip point of the two timer liner. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Rrr. And y'all know that I'm not complete without glitter. <laughs> so I'm gonna take some eyelash glue and just some loose cosmetic glitter and apply it all over. Totally optional. Actually, this whole look is totally optional. <laughs> and what would the Cheshire Cat be without that creepy smile? Taking that purple liner from NYX, I'm going to outline my lips and just extend where my smile line is on both sides. And I'm gonna top it all off with this violet lipstick. Mwah. And this is from NYX's Macaroon Lippies. Macaroon. And there is your Cheshire Cat inspired makeup. Come along with me as I rock this look at California Adventures Mad Tea Party. My ears are DIY and my star necklace and ring are from Belle Candy. The studded jean vest is from Chic Ole. My cute pink romper is from Fashion Avenue. The leggings are from Leg Avenue and my boots are from Ross. So the Mad Tea Party is a crazy trip down the rabbit hole where the cast of Wonderland is the actual band. I mean, they got the Mad Hatter, the March Hare, Alice herself, what? And look who decided to grace us with her presence, the Queen of Hearts, AKA Diddy. 
She is getting her groove on in this cute ensemble my sister Michaelina made. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed this fun tutorial. Remember, you are beautiful, baby, so shine like a star.